In this uh, video, we will be talking about how to uh, install and use TCP dump. Uh, as opposed to Wireshark, TCP dump is a uh, text only packet capture program, and it's uh, very useful for headless uh, servers where you don't have uh, graphical access. First things first, we need to um, install the uh, program. We do that by uh, uh, starting a terminal and uh, doing apt install. I would, uh, if you don't have graphical access, all you will see is something similar to this uh, text terminal. Um, if you SSH to the machine and in another way remotely access it, this is what you will see. So we will do all of this in the uh, terminal. Um, just to say, it, this machine is a completely default uh, Debian installation. Um, this one has graphics, but uh, it shouldn't change anything. Um, so we start by logging in as root. And then we do the app get uh, update to make sure that the uh, list is uh, up to date. And then we do app get install tcp dump. And it will just install it. This is a fairly small program. <coughs> So this um, program, in order to sniff traffic from the interfaces, you must do it as root. So there's uh, no tweaking here. You must simply be logged in as root whenever you need to do um, this speed up. Um, the setting for this machine is um, fairly simple. I have a, um, this is the client machine. It's connected to a network with a router that gives us access to the internet. And this router is doing netting. So the router is called dot one. We have that the client is called dot two. And we're getting DHCP and DNS and so on from, uh, from the router. So let's refine this in the um, terminal. I have config shows us that we have ETH zero, um, with the IP address of, uh, 192.168.1.2 and if we do the uh, route dash n, you will see that you have um, uh, the uh, default gateway of dot one dot one, and we are probably we we are able to uh, ping uh, Google dot com. Yes, so we have a machine that has access to the internet and it has the specified IP addresses. Okay, so. Um, what to do next is, um, in order to sniff traffic, we are going to use, um, in this case, we're going to use two terminals. One is for, uh, uh, Wireshark, uh, sorry, not Wireshark, USB, TCP dump, and the other one is for, um, the things where we are, that we're doing. So, let's do it something like this. So, over here, we can do our ping. We are doing one package. Oh, let's spell this correctly. And um, if we go up here, we can do the the one I usually use is something like this: TCP dump dash i eta zero, which specify which interface we are listening to. Dash n means just show us the numeric values. Don't give us um, too much text. And then you can specify a filter if you want to. Um, so let's just start with this one. And you'll see that it's not much happening. And we'll try to do our ping. And you'll see that, um, let's just control C this one. <clears throat> we have that dot two is sending to dot one on port 53. And this is a, uh, DNS request, and we are uh, getting our reply from dot one about the IP address of Google. We are getting, and uh, then we are sending an ICMP to this IP address, and we're getting something back, which is the echo reply. And then we are shipping yet another uh, DNS request, which is a reverse lookup. Um, and it tells us that this is the name of the server. And this is what we refined um, over here. Let's try adding um, some flags. 
dash vb that's always nice it gives you a lot of verbose information so if we ping again and you will see that you have been getting some extra information now um it uh, has some extra information, IP offset, something about the flags, UDP, and so on. And it actually includes a lot more here in the um, uh, in the last package. The others are not that interesting. Dash VV is very useful when you're debugging DHCP. Um, so you will be getting a lot of information here. And um, uh, just to show you, we can actually uh, do some filtering also. And now it will only show you the ICMP packages. There's an entire list of these um, uh, filters. These filters are actually the same filters that you do in the Wireshark pre-filtering process. So, um, one of the very cool things about TCP dump is that it's able to save data to um, to a PCAP file. So, if we are using TCP dump on this interface, we want to write it to test.pcap, and then we try to send the page uh, generate some more traffic, and it is not saying much. So we could control C and it has received 10 packages. And you'll, where is it? Um, let's do a uh, human readable. So it's 1.2 kilobytes. So we have actually collected some data. And um, the idea is that now you could collect some data, you could also tell it to. Um, Go to the next file after 150 megabytes or, or something similar. Um, and then the idea is that you have this on a server or on a drive or however you extract it from the headless machine. And then you are able to uh, put it on a machine where you have Wireshark installed. So let's see how this looks in Wireshark. Um, we have Wireshark here. And I will try to open a captured file and we put it in the home folder test.pcap and um, it would be nice to be able to see it all yes and we open and we're actually having um, the same pages as we saw before but now we can use uh, wireshark's filtering and status and all the other things that we actually like so much to use um, most of these um, headless machines, um, especially with infrastructure devices, they will have some way of looking at the packages without using GUI and saving it to PCAP files. PCAP files are very fundamental that um, it's a very, very cool tool to use and look at in Wireshark afterwards.